Okay, this is our recipe. And, uh, uh, yeah, 245 grams total. <clears throat> we, of course, divided that in half. But this is the ratio we're going with. You can see that one part borax, half part soda. Eighth part, we cut down on the uh, potassium nitrate from a, uh, really a 20% uh, way down. So we cut it down. It still kept some thinner because of that silicate content in the ore. And uh, that's it. So, all right. I think we're safe now. So, real nice lead button. So, that's a real good recovery. Perfect. That's real good. First way in, we lost a little bit of uh, lead. Not bad. That is acceptable from seven grams to that. Okay, a little quick lesson here on the ore that we are uh, testing. This ore. I guess runs mostly with uh, quartz stringers, or and I think that is an andesite. There's your quartz. So we took a good representative sample, and here's another showing of that quartz. And that's got some really cool crystals, and that's a specimen that uh, I'm going to keep. That's a cool rock. It's a $20 rock. So this is how the quartz, I guess, runs. Maybe a little thicker, a little thinner. And... Uh, so the representative sample we took was from the quartz zone. Okay, here we go. These are our two lead buttons we're going to compel. This has already been compelled. 0.45.48 grams. That of like, I think, 65 grams. We're going to do the grams per ton calculation on that after the uh, before and after the uh, nitric treatment. So let's get these in the furnace. Okay, there's go bead number one. Usually it's very, very silvery. Okay, as you can see in the photograph, uh, the beads are identical. There's a little bit of uh, flux trash and, you know, Capel trash on one of them. Uh, these didn't go into the, ni into the nitric. There was no sense because uh, the color uh, composition was just dead on of every single test that I have performed on this ore. But as you can see, in the, uh, I didn't put them under the microscope. I wasn't going to do it, but I did it. Didn't get a measurement, but, uh, uh, you know, they're quite small. But 10 grams per ton of precious metals, that's, I'm going to predict 95% uh, uh, silver. Okay, I think it's time to call this one. And uh, there is a very, very, very small piece of, uh, I'm assuming, what's going to be left over is gold. Or, uh, and uh, so we're going to call this dead on at 95% silver, and you can see the silver nitrate. Okay, and uh, we could actually, uh, you know, turn this into silver chloride, so you can, uh, we'll just confirm oh, that it's silver. I mean, might as well. I have literally a drop, and when I mean literally a drop, a drop of hydrochloric acid left, but let's see if we can't make this. There we go. 
make some silver chloride. And uh, so if we needed confirmation that uh, this material was silver, we don't anymore. Because there's your silver chloride, which makes that big, humongous mass. But it is neat to look at. But you can see the heavy silver chloride. Now, that's, uh, that's double confirmation that it was 95% silver. And there you go, the nitric after compelling test. And uh, if you want to call this a, uh, a silver confirmation test, you can. But that's confirmed. And I have to apologize to the mine operators. I have been stretched so thin lately doing these tests, trying to squeeze these tests in, that I've been hateful, I've been short-tempered, I've been... So I do apologize to them in front of 10,000 viewers, hopefully I get 10,000 views on this, and say I've enjoyed doing these tests and it's been a lot of fun and hopefully my results have helped you out, the information. I appreciate you plugging the channel and I'll plug yours as well. Go over to the Mahoney Mine channel. The uh, link is in the description. Check those guys out. And if you want to uh, buy their, they sell this on eBay, their ore. So you can go check that out if you if you choose. But uh, I'm apologizing out in the open. But I'm glad these little this big burst of experiments are over. Uh, you know we may get uh, we may get into something in the spring. It's up to them. But uh, uh, now it's time to take a little break. Get this lab uh, uh, settled in. Maybe get a few uh, working clients uh, and go from there. But anyways, this is the conclusion of the study. That's it. See ya.